three stars on the line this weekend in the Army-Navy Star Series presented by USAA, two down in Annapolis, and one here at West Point. We'll get started with men's and women's basketball. That's on Saturday, an 11 and 130 doubleheader on CBS Sports Network. It'll be the women who start things off as they're towards the top of the Patriot League standings right now, but right in front of them is Navy. Navy tied for first with Bucknell, Army sitting in third place. The Black Knights know a win would go a long way in the standings, and they're also looking for a little bit of revenge from earlier on in the year when Navy won here at West Point. Such a big game, and you know, since we lost to them here, there's there's a little bit more uh, of a, I, I think, a, a target, so to speak, on on our back or their back. But you know, we need to we need to certainly find that energy and focus as we head down to Annapolis on uh, for Saturday. We got a tough turnaround because it's uh, we play so early on, uh, you know, CBS game at 11 a.m. on Saturday. So we've we've got a really tight schedule coming up starting uh, tomorrow and. Uh, headed down there, making sure we get a good practice in. It'll be the men right after the women as the Black Knights men's basketball team also coming off a win over Holy Cross on Wednesday and also looking for a little bit of revenge against Navy because Navy beat Army in overtime last time these two teams met at West Point on January 21st. Now the Army men's basketball team is looking to lock up a home game in the first round of the Patriot League tournament and a win against Navy would go a long way to doing that. The Black Knights have been in almost every Patriot League game this year and looking to prove their point against one of the top teams in the Patriot League on Saturday. Well, uh, from a defensive standpoint, I think we were pretty pretty solid. 47 points is good. I mean, the pace of the game, I think, dictated the, you know, the score because we only scored 52. But uh, um, very happy with our performance. I thought that was our best, best defensive performance of the year where we really put two halves together. Um, and uh, played with a lot of poise. The rivalry is is certainly uh, an emotional one, and um, you know played with uh, with a ton of energy. Um, but they're they're a very solid basketball team. I mean, they're I think defensively um, the most efficient team in our league, and offensively I think they're second right now. So um, you know they present a lot of problems. They have great size, really good athleticism. A little bit older, more physical team than we are right now. So, you know, we've got to we've got to do a lot of the same things we did the first time. We certainly have to take care of the basketball, um, and we've got to keep them off the glass. They're a great rebounding team. The final Star Series game this weekend is going to be Army Navy wrestling here at the Holiday Center Sunday at two o'clock. Now, these two teams have split the last two star matches. Army winning here two years ago in thrilling fashion, and Navy winning last year down in Annapolis in a close matchup. Now, just because these two teams haven't seen each other in a dual meet yet this year, doesn't mean we're not going to see a lot of rematches. Multiple rematches throughout the season, including a big one at 141 that'll feature Logan Everett. The Black Knights have seen Navy in such tournaments as the Cliff Keen Invite, as well as a bunch of others, including all academies. The Black Knights, who are the defending all academy champions, had a couple of matches with Navy that didn't go their way in this one. So rematches are going to be a key this weekend. It starts with just recognizing how fortunate we are to, to be a part of a rivalry. That means so much to so many people, and, and that can be so intense. So, uh, you know, for us, I think our focus is embracing, you know, the intensity that we know is going to be there in the competition, uh, being excited about the rivalry that we have and excited about our chances to go uh, put our best performance out on the mat. Right behind me at Tate Rink on Saturday night, it's going to be the Army hockey team taking on Holy Cross in the second game this weekend. It's a home and home for the Black Knights against the Crusaders in Worcester on Friday and then home here at West Point on Saturday. Army currently sitting in third place in Atlantic hockey. Holy Cross right there with them though as these two teams are battling for that first round bye and a home series in the playoffs two, three, or even four points would go a long way for the Black Knights this weekend. But Holy Cross, a much better team than Army saw earlier on in the year back in December when the Black Knights were able to sweep the Crusaders in a home-and-home. -home. Army knows they're going to have to take momentum for their four-point weekend against Niagara last weekend and apply it to this weekend against Holy Cross if they're going to see themselves staying at least third or maybe jump a little bit higher in the standings. That series was a long time ago, and uh, I think we're both different teams. Uh, certainly, I think Holy Cross is playing much better now than they did at the start of the year, and, and that's, that's what you hope to do. Um, really, really just impressed with, with every part of their game. You know, well coached, have great structure, but uh, deep in every position. So uh, it's certainly not going to be easy this weekend playing against Holy Cross. The Army women's tennis team will have four matches this weekend, two at home, Wagner and Vassar, two on the road, Bryant and Providence. The Black Knights take a lot of strategy into these split squad weekends. One of the key things, who's healthy, and another thing, 
who are you guys playing? Who do you want to see go up against some of the top teams in the nation, such as Providence and teams like that? And who do you want to see get key matches in against some of the top players in the nation as well? That's what goes into Paul Peck's decision as they look for a big weekend at home and on the road. You know, uh, it's a good mixture of uh, younger uh, players and veteran players. So um, that's kind of what we look at. And we also look at the, the level and the competition and so forth. And all the teams we're playing are pretty solid. So it's going to be, it's going to push us some. I, I think this is what we need this time of year is really developing all your players because you don't know who's going to be the healthy ones when, you know, the big matches come up. So right now it's getting everybody the experience. Um, and I want them to play close matches and competitive matches because that's how they're going to get better. Teams on the road this weekend for the Black Knights include the men's tennis team at Michigan State. Will they take on the Spartans as well as Air Force out there? Both lacrosse teams on the road this weekend, the women at Manhattan, the men at nationally ranked Rutgers before they return home on Monday when they take on VMI. And the baseball team gets their season underway down in Louisiana. They take on nationally ranked LSU, currently ranked third in the country. They also take on a very talented Tulane team as well, and they'll have Air Force as well. That's going to do it for your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Zach Daly.